This is just some lean ground beef. We're going to spread it until we make a nice cavity in here. There you go. Just like that. Nice and easy. We're now going to put nine eggs. Can you guess what we're making? There you go. Put those eggs right in there. Beautiful. Nice protein. Gorgeous. Now we're going to add a little bit of ricotta cheese. We're going to put just a few tablespoons, all right? Maybe, maybe about three tablespoons, all right? Not too much. It's to give that creaminess we all love and crave. Now we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. You can use your fresh garlic, but this is so convenient for this recipe. Boom, a nice spoon of that garlic. Oh my goodness. We're now gonna add a white onion, chopped. Just slide that gorgeous right in there. Or nice onion. Now this recipe is so easy, you can do it anytime. It's about time we add a little bit of salt. Of course, we want it nice and seasoned. Okay, that's about right. We're gonna add now our breadcrumbs. I have the Italian style breadcrumbs. You can use the plain one. And we're gonna put about this quantity, about, you know, about a cup of breadcrumbs in there. If you need more, we'll see later. Now, it's important we add our Parmesan cheese. This is some beautiful, fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Oh my goodness, I'm already salivating for this recipe. This is so good, so easy and so simple. Here, here put a lot of the cheese. Put a lot of the Parmesan cheese. That's what gives you that nice flavor we all love. Can you, did you guess what we're making yet? Let's add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. This is the smooth, because we are smooth and we don't want to have too much of the oil flavor. There you go, just a little bit on there. And now it's about time we add about a quarter cup of chopped parsley. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the parsley in there. Look at that. Look at the colors. Look at this flavor. Oh my goodness. Let's add a little bit of pepper, just like so. Ground it, you know, make it nice and season. Check this out, okay? We're gonna need now a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Now, you can use your favorite cheese, okay? Maybe don't use cheddar, right? But just your favorite cheese. You can use maybe some provolone, all right? We put a little bit here, a little bit there. There you go, just a little bit of the nice mozzarella. Gorgeous. Now to make this nice and moist, let's add a little bit of milk. Okay, I have the reduced fat, because there's enough fat already with the cheese, all right? We wanna keep it light. So we're gonna add all around a little bit of milk. There we go. Just like that, nice and moist. Now you can put your favorite seasoning, but I suggest you don't skip some Italian seasoning. Because you have that oregano, you know, all the nice, all the nice herbs that are so good. And some red crushed pepper. This is optional, but again, it gives that little boost here. We're just gonna add, there you go, just a little bit, you see? Just to give it a nice boost of flavor. Now you have your gloves on, okay? And gently squeeze this all up. You see, we wanna break all these egg yolks in there. Okay, and we gently fold it in the meat, all right? One pan. This is the one pan. What is it? What is it? Oh my goodness. This is a one pan meatloaf. Okay, this meatloaf is going to be incredible. Look at this ricotta. Nice, nice and moist. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that we put this all down, Give it a nice pat. Look how jiggly and moist this is, all right? Let's give it a nice pat down, okay? And now that we clean our edges so it cooks nice and beautiful, look how jiggly it is. 
We're gonna bake this at 350 till its internal temperature is 160 Fahrenheit and this should take about 45 minutes, all right? I can't wait to show you guys, oh my goodness. Oh, mamma mia, look at this meatloaf, look at that. This is so gorgeous and moist, oh my goodness. Now to make it look beautiful, this is what we do. I have here some fresh homemade sauce and we're gonna pour this all around, okay? All in there, all right? Scrape all this goodness, all right? Because this takes a long time to do. There you go. And now we just, you know, you gently give it a, just a nice layer, you know, just a little bit. Do not over sauce your meatloaf. Just put it, you know, so it's nice and flavorful and tasty, okay? Just like that, you see? No need to do anything crazy fancy. Just a nice, you know, if you want, you can bake it again. But I just bake my sauce, I just cook my sauce, so there's no need for that. And now, of course, a little bit of fresh parsley. I have my tool here. Save me a lot of time, just like that, you see? All the parsley right in there, that fresh parsley. You can use basil, okay? But I like parsley with my meatloaf. Okay, now let's try it, okay? We're gonna take a nice spatula here, and let's see, where should we try? I say we try here, this angle over here. Take a nice, look how, look, you just need the spatula to cut this, okay? It melts in your mouth completely, okay? There you go, hope you're ready. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, look how juicy and moist that is. Okay, that looks incredible. Perfectly cooked. Let's place it gently over here. Just like that. And let's give it a taste. Oh man, I'm so excited here. Check this out, butter. Just like butter. Look, it's still, it's still jiggly huh? for how tender it is. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Ooh, this better be incredible like I knew. There's no other way. There is no other way for the creamiest meatloaf of your life. This is amazing. Mmm. 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 Whole creamy. Mmm. Amazing. Amazing. Mmm.